I'm excited for this album, Wizard, and I, I'm actually surprised how open you've been lately and vulnerable, you know, talking just about everything. Shout out to Rob Markman because... You know, when you talked about that lean and how you stopped and you were concerned how people were going to feel about you, man, I just was like that. I just love the honesty. What, Thank you. At what point did you realize, one, I'm not going to do this, and two, where you were comfortable to share this? When I said I'm not going to do it, it was, uh, it, was in, it was in December 2017, and I really never told no one. Right. I was like... I had seen this. It was a message from this dude. I still got the message. I think his name was Ben, mm -hmm. um, and and he had he had wrote a message about how he was on lean and how he was drinking activists and how he was mm -hmm. had to pour the water inside the bottle and he had wanted to drink it. And after a while, they stopped selling the real activists and they started drinking the high tech and this like just about just being a having an addiction. And I was just like, man, I felt that was me. But it just came a time where it's just like I'm walking around with two cups all the time, all day, leaving the cup, right. Damn, forget man. about the cup. Now my day getting more busy. I'm trying to think about the cup. It's just like. <laughs> it's always there. Is it always there? Like, it's just the cup, the cup, the cup. I'm right. older now. It's like, it, the cup don't even look right at this point. Yo, we walking around with a cup in my hand right. all the time. Right. It's like, so it was just me. I. I grew out of it. It wasn't a thing where I just had to force myself. Like, man, I grew out of it. I started seeing certain things, and it was just certain messages that was popping up, and I just didn't know certain signs. And it hasn't changed your music, because I think that was one music. of the biggest concerns that you had. But you've put out great songs since. Now that I, we know, kind of, when you look back, you're just like, damn, so you're still moving out here. Yeah, even when I did Hendrix, I, certain albums that, and certain songs, I purposely always did the song sober, or I might did it without lean, just because I know the the just the thing the um, what I'm trying to say, but just having that thing of you thinking like, man, it's because of this. I don't want it because of, or because I was Facts. drinking lean, I made this song. Because I was smoking weed, I made this song. Right. Because right, I was right, high, right. I made this song. So I wanted to do certain songs and be in the studio sometimes and don't even be high. Mm. So certain records that I did is just like I did DS2. I did certain things on Dirty Sprite. Right. That I wasn't just high on, just going off lean. Talk about you might it. Might thought about it. You might think that because the way we marketed and we branded. Right, right, right. It may just seem like I'm on lean all the time. Right. Yes, I was drinking it, but I wasn't on it every day, all the time, 24 hours out the day. Right. I was on lean. I might woke up and was sober and went to the studio. Right. And was at the studio and woke up out, but just was high from last night and woke up sober and did a song. So it's so many records that I did of I done that was hits that I didn't um, that I wasn't high. I just, I love the honesty. I, I really enjoy it just because. I don't want people to be thinking they got to be high to be doing records. Man. It was just, that was my choice, right. a drug. And that's what you wanted to do, and on your own, you decided that you grew out of it. Yeah, I just grew out of it. And you, know, and you were talking about, when, let's talk about the brand new album, Wizard. And you put out a documentary, right? right. I get, this is the first time I feel like we've seen you in a very intimate level where you're sharing so much of your experiences. And what made you want to do a documentary? Because you're still, I mean, yes, you've, you have a great career now, but I feel like you still have such a long time to go. But a lot of time artists wait kind of a little bit. Right. What made you want to put something out? I want to uh, put something out because it's just like the timing of it and I had already, we were recording it three years ago and it's supposed to came out. Three years ago, it's supposed to have been just like a wow. small special with Mass Appeal. And from there, we kept doing more and more footage and over the time, and over the period of time, we just collected so much footage. By the time Apple seen the footage, they was like, we want to pick it up and we want to be, we want to support this somehow, some way. Like it was dope, and then the time when we put my album out, everything just matched up with the timing. And I don't like to talk. My team was like, "Man, it's time for you to open up mm. and let people inside, let people inside your personal life a little bit. Let them open up about your kids, right? Because you just gonna they just gonna have this crazy image of you, and they gonna they not only they not gonna hear your point of view or your side of the story. Right. They'll they'll make a whole fake narrative about you. They're gonna have this fake narrative about right. you, and you gonna let them do it. But just open up a little bit, just give people a little insight of you. I was like, man, so it was just me compromising with my team. I think, I think it, we're all enjoying it. I, I personally, because sometimes, you know, 
it could go a different way and we're like please shut up nobody wants to hear this but you i feel <laughs> like even when you're posting funny things i think you posted rings and it said his and hers i thought it was hilarious right. but i just i think because we don't ever see you maybe settling down and you've talked about that i thought it was really funny <laughs> You say you'll never see me settling down. I don't down. know. I, and I think hearing you talk about monogamy. What you think about when you say when I'm settling down? Why would you say you don't see me settling because down? Because I think recently you talked about, God, I forgot where you're just like, kind of like, you know, I don't know if that's, uh, uh, you traded this life than to be in a serious relationship. And I, I could understand because you're living such a rock star life and, you know, mm. but don't you want to settle down? Yeah, I want to settle down with the right woman, with the right woman. She got to be the right woman at the right time. And I feel like even people be like, well, why you don't get with your baby mothers? You got six you got six baby mothers to pick from, to choose right. from. Why won't you pick one of them? If I choose one, the other one's going to get mad. I hate you so much right now for saying that. But you could. You could be. Then I could. choose the other one. That's going to get mad. So if I, whoever I choose is going to start a melee. But I feel like everyone's in a good place. But right? everyone is a good place. I feel like everyone is a good place at this at this point. They understand we family. Right. So it is what it is. We family. We're gonna be family. We can't change that. Right. Let's work through it. And um. What's the hardest part for you to be in a relationship, if there is a hard part? Just someone just being possessive. But isn't that like just part of the game, the relationship? Not possessive, but just too jealous. You're too jealous. You're jealous of everyone around me. You're making it hard for. But jealous means that they just really love you, as long as they're not acting out in a, you yeah, know, it's, it's absurd causing, it's manner. It's causing you to act out, and it's causing me to act out. It's not. I'm not happy. Right. I want to be happy with making you happy, and it make me happy by seeing you. Just like fulfill your dreams. You know what I mean. And, I get a kick out of that, but at the same time, I don't want to be helping you fulfill your dreams. Uh, we help building each other up. Right. And then w when I'm going to the studio, I'm trying to create. Right. You nagging me. And now I got a headache. I'm looking at my texts. Yeah, and I got to take care of you. Oh. And you're giving me an attitude. And oh. I still got to take care of you. And you're giving me more oh, attitude. No. And you still got to take care of you. <laughs> or you got to give me more attitude. But I'm still with you in a relationship, and I, right. and I got to put up with it. I don't want to put up with that. I want us to always be happy. I don't want to deal with the issues and the problems that come with your, right, with with the female. That just everything they have going on in your life, what's going on in your family life. Then I'm trying to build up, I'm trying to take care of the kids. I'm trying to do this, maneuver around, and you're not helping me. I'm just all about helping my situation, helping other people, making sure you good, right. making sure everybody around you good, and nobody to make sure I'm good. What if I need somebody to make sure I'm good? I was gonna say, what I mean, do you want to date somebody who's in the industry, or we past that? Do you want to date a, do a lawyer, a doctor? Like, is there? I would. I, I just want to date somebody with ambitious, ambition and a, a strong drive and. High self-esteem and um, just someone who can support me, support my decisions. Someone who really not into social media. I don't want someone that's in social media. You can, we can meet, and you could be in social media. You can have a million followers, but when we meet, if it ain't about business, if it ain't got anything right. to do with our business, then I don't feel like we should have social media. I, I wouldn't want that for me for my foundation. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I want my foundation to be different what what made you come to that because i think that's some real game right there and i think i would you know i have my what's own what's the opinions. game in it i think there's nothing wrong with keeping your relationship it you know like you don't always have to display everything and i feel like yeah, we've come I to a certain it. point where everything yo we this we that. it's like yo it's okay i get yeah. it we you guys love each other exactly right right okay yeah. i think we're getting a good kind of indicator of hopefully the lady that you meet one day because you know what i so far you've been nice you you were very kind walking in here i like to see good people win on every level not just musically and i know you have your album out the documentary is doing good how did you feel when andre 3000 talked about you and he gave you a compliment it was a funny compliment, a funny compliment. about and he was talking about him and his son liking your music and the messaging behind i don't remember exact words but it was just a funny compliment because <laughs> It's Andre 3000. It's Atlanta. How did you feel when you heard that? For him to even speak, he don't ever speak or do interviews. Talk about it, yes. So just for him to speak and do an interview and to be speaking about me, I feel like that was a win-win. <laughs> have you ever seen him talk to him in person? No or? matter what he would have said in that interview. It would have no been great. No matter what he said. Like, the good. fact that he was like, future. You're like, yeah. yeah the, the, the fact that he sat down and took his time out of his day to do the interview. Thank you. 
I love that. Is there? Would you, you say? Can't look at everything as something that you're trying to find negative. There was People nothing. try to find wrong into anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that we want to be just. Not. We want to just. We thankful for just a moment of you just coming here and saying, giving us two minutes of your time. Mm. We would appreciate that. Anything over, man. Thank you. Facts. It's good. You got to take what people give you. Yeah. What made you want to mentor Young Thug? Because I love that. I don't feel like we do enough of that just in the music industry. I, I Me. But, you know, what made you? Man, that's my brother. That's my twin. I feel like we, we help each other. We inspire each other. And it's just about feeding that good energy and making each other the best we can be. Getting our high, reaching our highest potential. Mm. Bringing that greatest potential out of each other. Mm. Who Was there anyone who did that for you when you were coming up? And nah. Damn. I was hoping for a great, like, yeah. Nah, it wasn't no one. So you didn't carry that bitterness. Because, you know, sometimes people can get jaded when nobody showed them love and they get on. They don't want to show other people love. But you show love. And I love that you talked about Lil Baby and Gunna. And you talked about how, you know, they're the GOAT of trap music and they're doing it. Like you're okay with that, and even though, and you even acknowledge that that you were the king of that, and it's right. cool. The confidence, where does that come from? Because I think that is very clear that you're so confident in what you do that you're not chasing anything. Man, I'm tired with Taylor Swift right now. Hmm. 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 Like, who am I competing with? Right. Why would I need the Brag. When you say that, so people understand, what are you talking about when you say that? You're like me and Taylor Swift, we have 77 hits at mm -hmm. this point. I have 77 hits. She has 77 entries on the top 100. Sheesh. Top 10. And, like, I, I did, I said that, and I did the interview when I said that about them. Before I even knew about it, I was tied with her for 77, with 77 hits, top 10. So it's like, God, I always have a way of showing me that you're good. Really? You good, like it's in your face. I'm putting it in your face. Don't go against the blessings. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like embrace it. Embrace everyone around you. Right. Like make it bigger. You know what I mean? Empower your people. Right. Don't try to discredit no one because right. you're already good. I gave you everything you asked for. Right. What more you want? What else do you want, Future? You've done it. Uh, and you're so confident in where you're at, right? I want it, I want to see other people's dreams come true. I really want to see other artists' dreams come true, but not... When your dreams come true, make sure you know how to invest the money. Make sure you know how to keep the money. Make sure you know how to just survive and stack your money. So at the end of the day, it be zero on the books. You don't owe me. I don't owe you. Hmm. What would you say has been your biggest regret in life? If you have any. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to have any. My biggest regret probably is uh, if I have any, it's just... Uh, Man, it just not just 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 fighting, just get like I should love harder. I guess should have found a way to love harder. I should have found a way to love the right way. Right. Like, but as I go along and I learn, like I'm in a situation where I come from. I come from nothing, and I didn't have a person, a man, a male role model to show mm -hmm. me how to open the door for a woman, or open the door for a woman, or like. Or just or you buy her flowers. They right. really like flowers. Nobody bought my mom flowers. I never see my mom get flowers. Right. And so it's just like I never seen that male role model just showing me how to treat a woman. So as I grew up and I and I get women or I get girls or whatever whatever the situation may be, I'm in relationships. I learned through my relationships, through failed relationships, to learn how to treat the next woman. Then right. you fail in that relationship, learn how to treat the next one. Man, you are vulnerable. I love this. This is but so good. At this the is... end of the day, it's just like that's how I learned. Yeah. I don't want to use that as an excuse why I shouldn't do this. Why? So instead of using that as an excuse, I'm just learning from it and accepting my mistakes. Right. And I keep pushing. You know right. what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, that's the the only regret is just for me people not understanding that and understanding the lifestyle that I'm living now, but also understanding that where I was at and my mentality. Mm. I carried a mentality from the streets over into the music industry, not knowing how big this shit was, how much success it come with, how much success I had. And the problems that come with it. And the problems that come with it. When you're having five million, a million dollars, people are probably not suing you as much when you start getting 20 and 30. Start. So the, pro the problems, more demons coming, more people trying to come and get more from me. The greed is coming at an all time high. Right. Now I'm just adjusting to this, but I'm still carrying that same mentality mm. from the hood. So I might be still dealing with the same kind of women. Right. 
and they praying on my, they praying on the money, they praying on this, and I'm thinking I'm accepting them into a world where you just got to give certain things up, right. and I don't know how to say no. But at the end of the day, we learn it, and I'm learning. It's a learning process. And you know what? I, I, when you look at Wizard, the album, and you look at the artwork, I only notice bad wizards, like evil wizards. Where are the good wizards? Were there any? Me. I'm the good one. I'm the good that came from bad, and I want to do good. Because I wanted this in my mm. heart. My heart means well. I have great intentions with anyone I run into. Right. I'm always having great intentions. That's why I'm going to continue to excel, and, and I continue to prosper, because God know my heart is good. Right. Like, what's the what's the biggest misconception about future? That you feel like, man, no, I am actually this. The uh, I'm a great father. Hmm. I'm always there for my kids. I, I think people know that though. I, but people always think that, like, man, because it's just like when the things came out in the uh, media, we had right. to get the what it said. Some other. Uh, I wanted to mediate. Right. We're trying to get the mediated thing going on. So it's just like, why y'all can't come to an agreement? It's not me. It's just right. like when certain rules get put in place, That's just I follow what it the is. rules. Right. So when I follow the rules, you want to break the rules, the rules that you want to put in place. Right. Now it's like I'm getting, I get I get to the blame. I get I got to take the blame for it. I get the backlash for it. And I don't speak up. So I'd rather just not say anything. You right. know what I'm saying? I feel like people know you love being a father. I love being a father. You want to have more kids. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have to find that wife. Yeah, yeah I like this plan. I, I really, really do. Wife. I have to find a wife right now. I feel like I just got to find that right woman. It's, it's going to come when I'm not even expecting. Absolutely. It's going to come when I, I'm not in a rush. And now, before, because I, I know you got to run out of here. This is the last project with Epic, right? Yeah, the seventh album. Seventh album. This is, do you have any plans? Can you talk about it? And it's okay if you can't, but do you have any idea of, What's next, music world? What you plan on doing? Just being a bigger, a bigger executive. Mm. Just being more involved in the artist's life and the artist's careers, and making sure they, just being guiding and mentoring the artists that's around me. Mm -hmm. that, I, I'm happy to hear where you're at. You know, because a lot you. of times artists have a journey and they might not be happy, and you can see the struggle. You're, you're very confident. You're content, and you just, I love that you want to look out for people. My favorite was that you. Look out for Young Thug, because I do think it's rare in this game. We just let everybody figure it out on their own. No, nah, no, nah, Thug, that's my twin, man. That's my brother. And like Who's I got say, more jewelry? Because this is tough. I'm looking at you he, right he, now. He, he have to have more jewelry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He have to. Have, I have a lot of jewelry, too. I have watches. I have probably, like, I might got 50, 60 watches. Damn. I done bought everyone watches for for. Five, six times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have a bunch of chains, a bunch of bracelets and rings and probably got like, I don't know, I got a lot, so much I can't even keep up with. I haven't right. even worn a lot of the jewelry Sheesh. that I have. But all my jewelry that I bought since I came in the game, I never gave a piece back, never, never had to did return, a piece, never, never returned it. it. All my watches I still have. Right. Just add on. I collect the watches now. Right. But it, as far know. as this journey musically whether it's someone that you really hope to get in the studio with or it's just someone that you really are inspired by do you have that person in mind because i'm i'm always so curious for people who have you know done such great work it, who i guess not that makes you starstruck but you're just like wow i'm in awe of that person and i hope i, I get be, to i don't be in awe of no one yeah i just be in i'm see i'm the type of person i get inspired with life I just wake up and like, man, I'm in awe with just being able to maneuver around. Mm. Just pre appreciate that I, just every moment, just being able to have an interview with you or just walking in here and just being accepted. Right. Like, you got to be appreciative, appreciative, appreciative of every moment and appreciate every moment in life yeah. because life is precious. Mm -hmm. And there's so much going on around you that you got to be in your own bubble with it. Yeah. You, and walk and walk with, with your head up knowing mm. that, man, Anything can happen at any time, and let me enjoy this. Let me breathe this fresh air in. Right. I, you know, I, I love the energy. I didn't know what to expect, and I love that you've been so vulnerable, and you're just as a, what I, you know, like you're funny, you're great, you're down to earth, really humble, which I really, really, really appreciate. And I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing your journey, and I can't wait till you settle down. I'm not going to lie, because I think you're going to like it. I think I have a good vibe that you're gonna like it. I think you're gonna enjoy having a family. I think you're. I think, I think, the, you're gonna I be think the lady that I choose, she gonna like it too. <laughs>
She gonna love it. Oh man, future, thank you so much Can't for stopping no by. Can't no one spoil a lady like me. <laughs> Can't. There's you know no man wants? on earth. She just wants loyalty. That's, That's what I'm it. saying. I'm gonna spoil you with love. Yeah, but I'm gonna spoil you with compliments. I'm gonna spoil you with love. I'm gonna spoil you with loyalty. <laughs> spoil you with everything. Yes. Like. Yeah, I just want to spoil wait. you. I cannot wait to see this happen. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. Good, 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 good. But it, like you say, loyalty is a must. Yes. For me, everybody look at it. Is he gonna cheat on? He gonna cheat. He gonna yeah, cheat. We, Girl, yes. he gonna cheat I'm on sorry. you. He gonna cheat on you. <laughs> we look. I don't even want the energy out there. That's why she gotta, <laughs> she gotta erase her social media because they gonna be on her every day. He cheat. He gonna cheat. He gonna cheat. <laughs> Baby, don't even look at the energy because you become what you see right. sometimes. We don't want to become that. Right. Keep that energy away from us and encourage me to be a better man. I know you will. I'm telling you, I know when people aren't. In, and I, ask anybody you know you my said track it right record. Here, you right know. here. I can't wait. You can be like, Nessa, you you were right. I promise you. And, I, and I'm I like excited that. for all of your success. And good luck tonight performing at Colbert. Thank and you. have fun. Thank you. Of course.